This is a bit of a new approach for a local union. They're offering a five year apprenticeship program to bring in detail oriented workers. Yeah, those who are accepted not only learn new skills, but also uh, receive full benefits, a pension, 45 college credits, and most leave the program earning well over $100,000 in their first job. News Channel 5's Claire Kopsky met two apprentices who they wish they would have learned about much sooner. The boots say one thing, but once the mask and the gloves come off, the hands say another. I treat myself. I wear gloves. Gloves for a job you wouldn't expect. It's bonding things together. In this case, it's two unlikely things. Combining just different kinds of pipes. Women and welding. Every man, they come in here and just, you know, broad shoulders and they know so much. And I could just sit there and just watch everything. And I'm like, I know more than what you know. And I could go out there and do it and they could redo something like five times. And I'm like, well, you could have did this and it would have saved you. <laughs> it's the attention to detail that they say their supervisors appreciate in a union where just over 5% of their members are women. Being able to look at something and look at all the different ways that you can do something instead of just having your mind set on one way, because a lot of people are set in their ways, so they do things the way that they were taught, but women get in there with a different outlook. Four years ago, Alexis and Elizabeth both left other careers to start this local 572 plumbing, pipe fitting, and HVAC apprenticeship program, one that's trying to recruit more women. I had no idea about this kind of trade or even this type of job. When I applied, I didn't know how to read a tape measure. I didn't know the difference in a Phillips head and a flathead screwdriver. Like, I just, I didn't know anything about anything. Now they're encouraging other women to join them. Girl power. It doesn't have to be a male dominated field. You can change that stigma on construction. You don't put yourself in a box. You can do anything that you want to do. It doesn't, you don't have to be a lawyer or a teacher or a doctor. You can be, you know, a construction worker and you're not scum of the earth if you're a construction worker. <laughs> Working to change a stigma one pipe at a time. Don't give up and don't get intimidated. In Nashville, Claire Kopsky. News Channel 5. Yeah, way to go, ladies. Well, these women have helped on projects like Geodis Park, Nissan Stadium, and the Facebook Data Center in Gallatin. For more about the program, you can click on Claire's story on our website, newschannel5.com.